Hi, we're from Grind TV. We're just wondering when you're grinding 24-7, you know, no sleep, what are some tips that you do when you grind? When I cannot sleep? No, when you're just trying to like get that money, you know what I mean? We're just talking about how you can turn life into a cuck bitch that's in the corner helplessly while I smash his wife in front of him. That's what I do to life. How many businesses did you start last week? Business? Yeah. I'm retired. I have a new replacement, so the best thing is just to walk, have a fresh air, and not have to eat the right way to not get inflammation. I feel like life's gonna need a knee replacement because I got life on its knees at all times. You're absolutely right, I agree with you 100%. Yeah. What I do in the morning is I usually make breakfast and then I throw the breakfast in the garbage to make sure that I stay hungry, and that's one of the motivational texts that I've been using. I don't get hungry. It's more of a problem, like I should eat more. Okay, yeah. Just yeah. so asking people if they have any uh, tips on how to fuck the shit out of life and make it your bitch. Wow. Well, relax. If you're always concerned about a lot of things and worried, you're in a stress mode all the time, and that's the worst thing. Well, my dad's always sort of taught me that relaxing for pussies and women, you know what I mean? But At my age, you realize that, you know, weaning, 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 and then you may be just putting yourself into hell. Well, hell, for me, is a world where I have less than 10 streams of passive income. Every morning, I check my passive income streams. If one of them goes down a little bit, I throw my computer against the wall, maybe punch the drywall a little bit, and then I know that I need to hit more reps in the gym. Generally, daily routine, I have like three or four different types of teas that I drink, then I meditate for five minutes, then I start four or five businesses that day. A couple years ago, I started taking piano and violin lessons because... Have you ever considered starting like a piano and violin lesson business, get 10 people underneath you teaching piano and violin, then you never even have to teach it anymore? Yeah. No. I could teach you how to turn this piano side hustle into a full-time, you know, multi-million dollar business. I could literally, probably by the end of the month, have 19 different retired piano teachers with you and they could be thinking like, oh, you know, I'm just doing this for my happiness. And then while well, you're sort of bleeding them dry, you underpay them and you have those people recruiting an army of retired piano teachers who are all teaching kids around the globe, all funneling up to you at the top. Underpaying others, how could you be happy. There's predators and prey in this world. You want to be predator? <laughs> no, in this scenario, you're the predator. Oh, I, I would have, I would have been miserable to be a predator to, to make other people unhappy. How could I be? Well, they won't know. That's the thing. So you're actually not making anyone happy because I they know. actually think they have a good deal. I, I know. But then you can sort of meditate that out. I'm meditating that out currently. If I meditated, I would even feel worse. Option two, if you're not interested in that, how about would you be willing to work for me as a piano teacher? Potentially. No, no, I, I'm, I'm not a piano I'm, And I'll pay you very fairly. And, and, no. I'll pay you very fairly, and then honestly, you can recruit people, but you're not their boss. You know what I mean? You're just doing what makes you happy. I'll, I'll deal with all the financials. There's lots of stuff you probably don't want to have to get involved with. Yeah, obviously, you and I have a very different mind and then personality. So do you want the job or not? Uh, no, no. Okay. Just doing a bit of a tutorial on young entrepreneurs, if you have any uh, get money techniques. Some people don't want to do what you tell them to. My son is currently, I'm homeschooling him to be an influencer. You know, he wants to take normal classes like science and math and that sort of stuff. I want him to take normal classes like TikTok, you know, David Goggins. What's that? I don't know what that is. Um, entrepreneurship advice, you know. What the fuck are you going to do? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Stay fucking hard. Why would you impose that on a little kid at this point? Well, I'm trying to set him up to smash life, you know. Fuck you. You know, he might not want to do that. Well, that's the beauty of this whole format, is if my son is pushed into a life that he doesn't want, that will create trauma, which he can then use to uh, monetize it later in life. So I'm actually giving him a gift by pushing him into something that's that he doesn't want. You think. There's big money to be made in the like crying genre of social media. That's a tried and tested way to go viral, and I've been explaining that to him. So he'll cry in his room, and I'm just like, S put the ring light up, get the camera going. This is pretty simple stuff. When a kid grows old enough, it could be in a year or five, He'll say, Dad, fuck off. I'm doing what I want to do. Well, his window of opportunity is closing. And if he wants to say fuck off to me, what I suggest is set the camera up. I've even green lit him in the house to any confrontations that he wants. Put those online, you know, record the whole thing, monetize it. Is money that important that you're trying to monetize him as a seven-year-old? I'm not trying to monetize him. I'm trying to have him self-monetize himself. But I have the right mind to hold him back a grade if he doesn't want to, you know, participate in these things. Do you have any, uh, maybe a message to my son who doesn't, you know, want to be... Kid. Also, put the camera on when you're crying, maybe if you want to tell them yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, just do it. Record it. It's fine. It's great. 
honestly, we all have a hustle, so I'll give you my cards because I'm actually prepared. Stop right there, I would get rid of that card. I would, I, like I would impress it. that. I would have, a, I would have a different stock. I do real estate, so if you want to buy a building, um, I have my license. If you want to see it. Interesting. Yeah, I'll see your license if you want to show me your license. I guess for some reason. Yeah. There you go. That's me. All right. So I've been Checks here, like, out. Years. In fact, if you want a commercial space in Bushwick, you oh, can have that. Okay. 